Phil Evans with Bay Area Lifestyle, and today we have a very special guest for you guys. Uh, we have Phil Caulfield, who is a loan officer, and he's here to talk to you about uh, mortgage and loans 101. Kind of let you know everything you need to know uh, so that you can understand them better, understand better whether you can get one or not for yourself, um, and um, I'll let him take it away. Let's talk about down payments. You know, if somebody doesn't have enough for 10, 20%, what's typical? 20% is kind of what everybody talks about. Is that necessary in today's market? Um, you know, if somebody can only afford 5 or 10%, what do you have for them as options? Should they come talk to you or should they wait until they can afford a higher down payment? Yeah, well, okay, that's a good question. So let's talk about the different, the different types of programs and what those down payment requirements are. Okay. So let's start with a VA loan, which is a, a loan for veterans who have their eligibility through the Veterans Administration. Uh, a, a VA loan doesn't require any money down. So that's pretty good, 0% down. Yeah. yeah, and it's a great way to honor our veterans, I yeah. think. And that's open to all veterans, right? It, it, it depends. It doesn't matter if they are well, um, in the I, reserves or not. Or? Well, it, it just depends on their VA eligibility. There's okay. a form called the VA DD-214 form mm -hmm. that we get, to, uh, that, that the veteran obtains and gives to us, and that the Veterans Administration tells us how much of a loan that they will insure. Okay. All right, so, great. So that's the one, VA zero down. FHA loans, 3% uh, down. Okay. And in, in our area here, that's up to, here we go. Let's do this so people are, Remember here. So we got, so you said the FHA or the VA, excuse me, is uh, usually 0%. I meant to do that. Sorry. We'll yeah. just edit this part out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you said the VA loan is 0% um, down. You said the F FHA HA is 3%, right? Correct. Okay, cool. Okay. And what's, you know, this might sound like a silly question, but people have asked me, if you're a VA, uh, or if you're a veteran, excuse me, um, is it better to go with VA or FHA? And you might think the obvious answer is 0% down is better than 3% down, but in your experience, is there, is there a difference in monthly payments and, yeah, it, you know, PMI? Uh, yeah, it, you just have to crunch the numbers and see which okay. way works best. So you, I can't really say one way is better than the other. Okay, so they may look at FHA even if they're a veteran? Right. Okay, all right, excellent. Right. And then um, for conventional loans, um, what are we talking about for conventional loans usually? Okay. Well, you said there was another word for conventional, right? What are conforming. They? Conforming. All right, let's do conforming loans. And what are we looking at generally for conforming loans? So conforming loans, there, there's two types. Uh, there's uh, regular conforming, and then there's high balance, which is uh, regular conforming is up to 417000 Okay. And then high balance conforming for a single family here in the Bay Area is up to 625,500. So you said 625,500? Yeah. Oh, can we make a correction here on FHA? It's three and a half percent down. Three Sorry. and a half percent, yeah. And then regularly you said it was what, four what? 417,000. Oh, 17,000. Okay. Okay, so. Uh, there are some conforming programs up to 417,000 that only require 3% down. Okay. Yeah, it's just a different program okay. than the FHA. So you just have to determine which one works better for uh, the borrower in yeah. terms of expense and qualifying. Okay. And then they generally they go up to 20%? Yeah. Or... Anytime you have less than 20% down, you're either going to have to uh, pay for mortgage insurance or have it included in the interest rate. So anything less, that's a good point. So anything less than 20% um, down, you said, right? Yep. Less than 20% less than you have to pay um, mortgage, mortgage insurance. insurance. So let's talk a little bit about um, 
mortgage insurance. What's its purpose? How much does it cost generally? And um, can you ever get rid of it? Okay. So PMI, private mortgage insurance, insures the lender against default. So the borrower pays for it to benefit the lender. And the reason they have to do that is because the, the risk is higher with a less down payment. Okay. So the lender's required that you pay for the mortgage insurance. There is one way to avoid mortgage insurance, and that's by doing a first mortgage and a second mortgage. So generally speaking, uh, if you have 10% down, you can break it up into, like, let, for example, an 80% first and a 10% second. Okay. And that, that will avoid the mortgage insurance. But if you have less than 10% down, you're going to be paying for mortgage insurance either by paying a higher interest rate or by paying for the mortgage insurance separately. Now, if you're paying for the mortgage insurance separately, uh, you can get rid of it, but it, there's requirements that uh, need to be taken care of uh, that take too long for this conversation. Okay. All right. Describe. So we'll cover that in another video in the future. So look out for that one um, and give Phil or myself a call at any time if uh, you need those answers uh, sooner than, than uh, that comes out. All right, Phil, so is there anything else that um, we should cover um, for oh, we missed, PMI? Or well, on the, uh, on the size of down payment, mm -hmm. uh, high balance loans above 417000 require 10% down. Okay, so above 417000 up to 625 10% down. 10%. Okay, and then do these have a requirement or you can do whatever percentage down you want for a high balance loan? Yeah, 10% down on a high balance loan. Oh, 10% down as well. Yeah. Okay. And then the last is jumbo loans, uh, which are loan amounts, generally speaking, above 625,000. Mm -hmm. uh, generally speaking, you're gonna have to have 10% down for those, and but that, down payment requirement goes up as the loan amount gets higher. So it depends on the okay. lender that you're talking to, but generally speaking, you're going to have to put 10% down. There may be lenders out there that offer less down, mm -hmm. but uh, it, it would require the borrower to uh, do some good research to find the ones that are out there that have that. Okay, great. So just to recap, we have for a conforming loan, there's, there's two different types. You have the regular and the high balance. Correct. And those are dependent on basically how much money you're taking out for those. They have each a 10% minimum. However, there are some conforming loans that similar to the FHA, you only need 3% down for. Is that correct? correct? That's so correct. There's, there's really a lot of different loans out there. And your job is to figure out what's going to work best for the buyers. Exactly. Right? Based okay. on their, their qualifying and based on the expense of the, of the interest okay. rate uh, that we're talking about. Okay, great. Yeah. All right. Well, this is Phil with Bay Area Lifestyle and Keller Williams Realty. And uh, we have Phil Caulfield here, the loan officer extraordinaire. Um, so uh, give us a call. You'll find my information at the bottom. Um, and um, I'd be more than happy to uh, help you find your next dream home, uh, as well as send you over to Phil to get uh, pre-approved. I think that's the one we want to go with. All right. Thanks so much. Thank you.